everybody's heard about the bird. Cardinal Mallard. And we've seen some bluebirds. White-throated sparrows, we think. Well, everybody knows that the bird is away. Honey, what is that? With binoculars and an expensive telescope in hand, Jane and Paul Touche are checking out the birds in a U.S. National Wildlife Refuge just outside Washington. This is like what they call walking count or traveling count. And so we're allowed to count the birds as we go along, ideally not repeating the same bird. Jane and Paul, along with thousands of other amateur bird watchers or birders across the United States and Canada, are taking part in Cornell University's Great Backyard Bird Count. David Inoue is with the National Science Foundation, one of the sponsors of the bird count. The Great Backyard Bird Count is just a, a fantastic example of citizen science, of the way that non-scientists who are interested in birds uh, can help collect the kinds of data that are extremely valuable uh, for scientists and would otherwise be unavailable. Anyway, says amateur birders like Jane and Paul are invaluable in determining the health and populations of North America's migrating birds, even those that overwinter in Central America. He says the data they provide can also help determine if something is happening in the environment, like climate change, that may be affecting the bird's behavior. We can get a tremendous amount of information. Uh, some of it relates to just the distribution of bird species, where they occur now, and because this study's been going on long enough, we get information about where are they moving to if they're changing their, their ranges in response to a changing climate. Uh, we can also get a tremendous amount of information about the abundance of bird species and have been able to document, unfortunately, the decline of a number of bird species that are becoming less common. So on a particularly warm winter day, Jane and Paul Touche are walking a path in Occoquan National Wildlife Refuge and keeping track of all the birds they see. So how do we count those? There are so many of them. Well, get an approximation. Okay, let's do that. With hundreds of species of birds in North America, the Touches have help with high-powered lenses and a field book on birds. Could you tell if this eye was yellow? Does that look like what you saw? Bird watching is a popular hobby across the U.S. and Canada. Cornell University expects about 65,000 people to take part in the bird count, and the data they provide will be available to anyone who would like to see it. They're being recorded on a website uh, that I believe is hosted at, at Cornell University in the Laboratory of Ornithology. And uh, there the data are collected, uh, there's some initial analysis, and, and many of those data are available to anybody who wants to look for them on the website there. Research aside, Jane and Paul Touche are taking part in the bird count, well, because they like birds. And of course we like eagles. We follow eagles a lot on these webcams. Yeah. And also there's a little um, hummingbird in a webcam out in California. This little hummingbird, and she has what, how many different little nests uh, five or six a year families yeah participants of the backyard bird count have reported sightings of more than 11 million birds throughout the united states and canada and about 600 different species i'm voa's rebecca ward for going green hey.